like today when uh, Jenny, if, Jenny, if Jennifer Lopez wear perfume, let's say Delina, then everyone wants to wear Delina. Yes, trendsetters. Trendsetters. At that time, when the queen or the king was working a new creation, every courtesan wanted to acquire the same perfume. And, and this is from this time only that every European court started to order the perfume in France. Mm. And if today the made in France is so important in the perfume world, this is thanks to Louis XV. So Perfumes de Marley has such a loyal following. I've seen more and more people talk about the brand over the years and just gravitate towards the beautiful scents, mm -hmm. um, go viral on TikTok. Absolutely. And I'm really excited to connect with you as a leader of the company. So I Thank thought we you. could just start with you introducing yourself and telling us about your role with Perfumes de Marley. All right, of course. So I'm Ivan Jacqueline. So I'm, I've been uh, working with the company since uh, 12 years. So wow. almost at the, the beginning, it was a... Amazing journey, amazing uh, meeting 12 years ago with uh, Julien Sprecher, mm -hmm. the creator and the owner of the company. And uh, it was just a magical moment where he approached me and needed back in time a general manager to, to lead the operations. And uh, in after 30 minutes of discussion, I was convinced that I'm going to work for with this gentleman. And wow. It's been 12 years now, and it has been a fabulous journey where the, the brand uh, grow from a, a baby brand to a top leading world brand of the niche segment. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, it has been a fantastic journey. And That's yeah, wonderful. Been a bless. So 12 years. 12 years, and it's been five years. I mean, uh, in your base uh, out of uh, US now, so leading the subsidiary of Americas. So it, we have a wonderful team here leading the operations and for Canada, US, and Latin America. So All of the Americas. All of the Americas. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it has been a fantastic adventure as well to start from scratch and ending up today being in the top three uh, of uh, the, the segment. So that's very, very exciting and more to come. Yes, absolutely exciting to see the growth of the brand. I'm a huge fan myself. So I'd love to talk a little bit more about that. You've mentioned before, I've heard you say in <coughs> interviews that scent is a life changer. So yeah. I'd love to dive into that more. What yeah. do you mean by that? And how has scent changed your life in particular? But if you want, people believe that most of people believe that perfume is just to smell good and to, to feel good. Already, when you start to feel something, it's a it's a good step. But actually, perfume is extremely powerful. Yes, this is the only of our senses directly connected to the subconscious. Mm. So, when you see, you touch, you test, you know if you like, you dislike. When it comes to scent, it's it's driven by uh, your subconscious. So, mm. like, eventually, you will dislike. Uh, certain kind of smell but you don't know really why right Just, you can't put it into uh, words i don't like some some people say <laughs> oh, i don't like rose why most probably it's linked to a memory in your childhood of a moment you disliked or mm -hmm. was not a happy moment and you associate your subconscious associated to the smell to right. something that you dislike and as sometimes you love something but you cannot picture why do i love that it's it's really so imagine the power it has on yourself when you find the right scent, the right yeah. perfume that highlight your personality, that give you strength and confidence and, and you feel great and powerful. And the power it has as well on people who surrounding you. Mm. That your, of course, today we are living in a world, this is a world of the, the power of the visible. Okay, that we want to look good, we want to look sharp yes. and trendy and beautiful and handsome as you are. Visual. And but the power of the invisible is equally important, if not more important. Because when you leave the room, you are still there. And people won't remember tomorrow what you were today. Yes. But they will remember the way you smell. Absolutely. Yeah. When someone walks by, you just have that lingering Yes impression of yeah. the person and the, the beauty of it is 
you can send different kind of messages because we are complex. Your personality is complex. Mm -hmm. So the perfume gives you the possibility to highlight certain part of your personality. Yes. One day or one moment you want to seduce, so you will wear something more seducive and... Uh, or you want to stand out and lead the room and then you will have something more offensive. Here I am. And mm -hmm. so you can really highlight different part of your personality and send different kind of message to the people around you, depending on who you meet, what you want to do, who you want to be as well. And that's extremely powerful. And so that's powerful. why I believe perfume can are really a positive factor in changing positively your life. That's so real. Mm -hmm. I, I truly believe in that. It's almost like, you know, you mentioned and you related it to your visual. I think of fragrance as kind of a accessory part of your outfit or your mm -hmm. wardrobe. So yes. it really resonates with me when you're talking about how, you know, if you maybe you're leading a meeting one day mm -hmm. and you want to feel that power and that strength and that confidence, mm -hmm. you can have a scent for that. Yes. And if you want to go on a date or Meet you your, you would be someone your lover, else and something more sultry for you. All the parts of your personality that yes. resonates to you. Yeah, it's not cheating. It's like we are so complex. Huh? And like ten years ago or fifteen years ago, people used to have one fragrance. For Just one. Mm -hmm. Today, more and more people collect fragrance and start to understand that yeah, it's a powerful tool, and uh, we don't want to be necessarily or I like necessarily the same part of our personality right. every day, being the same person or no. Sometimes we want to be sparkling, we want to have fun, or we want to feel uh, energized. Another time we want to seduce, another time we want to stand out. And, and it's important to let your emotion and your feeling uh, free to to play with different scent. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the fun. The possibilities are that's endless. Fun. Endless. And it's less. so true. So many yeah. people are like, oh, I've got my scent. <clears throat> yeah. That's it. And I think through your brand, like you do such a great job of expressing like different facets of someone. Yeah. Um, there's something for everyone, but also there's something for every occasion in every mood or every exactly. feeling. Yeah. And there is something for, for your life because Mm. I don't wear the same perfume than I used to wear five years ago, ten years ago. Right. You know, we evolve. It's an olfactive journey. Mm. And uh, we have uh, so many uh, fans or customers that start with uh, one where it's Percival and, and move on and, and still keep acquiring different kind of smell in the collection in time. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, that's uh, something I'm very proud of, yeah, to have uh, such a complete collection where you have the fresh, uh, very uh, complex scent or yeah. uh, very powerful. And you, you really have for every t time of the year, of the, of the day. Of right, the season. On, yeah, yeah. And Wonderful. all in their style are really uh, absolutely a piece of art. And that's the beauty of this collection, yeah, of course. That's wonderful. <laughs> so let's go into the Perfumes de Marley history and talk a little bit about yeah. that. Um, I find it so interesting that you're paying <coughs> tribute to 18th century France, is oh, it? Yeah. yeah, amazing uh, period of history, yeah. Yeah, so take me back. Take us yeah. into the time machine. So, yeah, so Perfumes de Marley, uh, we, we are paying tribute to, the, to this beautiful era, uh, 18th century, who, which we consider as the beginning of the modern perfumery, as we know mm. it today. There was a before and an after. Wow. So before the 18th century, people used perfume already, like Louis XIV uh, used perfume and uh, uh, actually very strong perfume because back in time, the hygiene was terrible. <laughs> there a lot of surrounded by a lot of bad odors and, and they could not wash themselves with water because water used to carry so many diseases. Oh, bacteria, right. Yes, so they used a solution like vinegar, uh, so strong other solution to wash themselves and adding very strong perfume on top. So there was no real refinement. Mm -hmm. Such a point that uh, Louis XIV get allergic to perfume at the end of his life. <sighs> but the only uh, ingredient he, he used to wear was orange blossom. And, uh, oh, beautiful fragrance. He could stand. And we use, Julien loves to use orange blossom in his creation. It's kind of... Uh, 
It's a little uh, tribute to Louis XIV. Yeah, man. Uh, we have we we love orange blossom, and uh, so then in the 18th century, in January, improved a lot and uh, hygiene as well, and then. Louis XV was not a great king, not a great politician, let's say, mm. this way. He loved to enjoy life, didn't like the politics much. And he was uh, escaping to from Versailles to Chateau de Marly, to Marly Castle, as much as he could, inviting only, today we would say, his very best friends, or the very best his inner co- circle. courtesans. It was the ultimate honor to be invited in a Mali castle. And he was having his own master perfumer there, creating perfumes wow. on a daily basis for the king, the queen, the courtesans. And um, like today, when uh, Jenny, if, Jenny, if Jennifer Lopez wore a perfume, let's say Delina, then everyone wants to wear Delina. Yes, trendsetters. Trendsetters. At that time, when the queen or the king was working a new creation, every courtesan wanted to acquire the same perfume. And, and this is from this time only that every European court started to order the perfume in France. Mm. And if today the made in France is so important in the perfume world, this is thanks to Louis XV. Wow. Who created grass as well, you know, the, yeah, grass. the city in the uh, south of France, which is the heart of the French perfumery and uh, has been created under Louis XV. So it really revolutionized the perfume world. And uh, that's a very important print he, he kept in the in the history. So he he kind of built grass up to what it is today as that epicenter of fragrance. And yes, yes. Absolutely. I had no idea. Yeah. Before Louis XV, it was in Montpellier. Yeah. Montpellier. Yeah, Montpellier. It's another city in south of France. Um, I never went back before Grasse. I was just like, oh, that's where it is. That's the origin of perfumery. Mm-hmm. But I never thought about who established that area and yeah. what what made that what it is, that mm-hmm. area. And, yeah, and from that time, they really started to have uh, refined perfumes in opposition of very strong and opulent before that. And uh, so it really changed the pace, changed the industry. And and uh, yeah, so that's what we pay tribute of. And, yeah, it uh, makes sense. You... That's why we stand out. Our bottles are very luxurious. And uh, that's why we use so many uh, natural ingredients as well and paying tribute to a beautiful uh, era. That beautiful era. Wow. So your logo for Perfumes de Marley, I know, expresses two horses that are facing each other, yeah. I believe, around the year 1743. Yeah. Actually, we're paying tribute to both king passions. So the king has sure. two passions, the perfume world and the equestrian world. Believe it or not, you had more than 2,000 horses in uh, Chateau de Marly. 2,000 horses. Yeah. And uh, Louis XV is, uh, has been offered by uh, the king of Tunis some pure Arab horses. Mm-hmm. And he's the first one who breed pure Arab horses with European horses. So the European horses are tall and muscly and the Arab horses are, uh, are more tiny and dynamic and so beautiful and breed them together. And today, 90% of the horses racing today bear the same DNA. So it's like the Adam and Eve of the equi- equestrian world. And wow. uh, so that's why um, we name our perfume some famous breed of horses from this era. Uh, so because voilà, that's the two prints that the, the king uh, kept in history, the equestrian world and the perfume world. So you're bringing together these two very... Uh, monumentous times or monumentous things in history that this king brought to us all. Yeah.
Yeah, exactly. And actually, the horses looking at each other are the uh, Chateau de Marly, uh, Marly horses statue, yeah. which used to be at the entry of the of the castle. And uh, now you can admire the Marly statue at the entry of the Champs Elysees. The two yeah. horses looking at each other. So there are the Marly statue. Actually, they are replicas, original, are in the Louvre Museum. I knew I had seen yeah. them somewhere. Yes. I had a chance to go to voilà. the Louvre once. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And the Champs Elysees. And when I saw the horses on Perfumes du Marly bottle, I was like, this looks familiar. Mm -hmm. But it's so wonderful <laughs> to hear the, the rich history involved in mm -hmm. it. Every single thing mm -hmm. about this brand is, you know, well thought out. And it has this beautiful origin. Yeah. Um, and it's this rich storytelling, I think, that helps the brand stand out and yeah. separate yeah. it from everyone yeah. else. Yeah, exactly. So um, you mentioned this a little bit, but I heard you name drop J-Lo. Um, I heard that she wears Delina, which is one of your uh, most iconic fragrances. And nowadays we have a lot of brands trying to get celebrities to endorse these products. So I'm wondering um, if you could tell us a little bit about uh, the different people who wear your fragrance <sighs> that might be surprising we to have, us. Yeah, we have <laughs> so many. I'm not sure I can name them. They're clients, but uh, yeah, I've been told by department store in, uh, in Dallas at Jello, uh, acquire uh, some uh, Delina and Delina Exclusive, Rihanna as well, uh, uh, Delina Exclusive. We have a lot in Dallas, uh, in the basketball team, mm -hmm. I believe half of the team is wearing different uh, wow. uh, perfumes and Mali uh, uh, creations. Uh, uh, I think Dirk Nowitzki was uh, having uh, Dirk, yes. Galloway. We had uh, LeBron James with Godolphin. We had so many different uh, uh, perfumes that they are wearing, and so many. You know, it's uh, it's very exciting to to see uh, for us that celebrities start to know us. Mm -hmm. You know, so the, on that extent, it's it's really. Uh, uh, exciting so it means we start to be visible we start to be recognized so, you know it's it's a passion so you want to share to people uh, of course we're happy when celebrities understand and love our work but I'm equally happy when everybody loves it and, yes yeah. everyone it, the fragrance yeah. is for everyone all right so that period in France that we've been talking about was extremely revolutionary for the perfume industry um, how do you think it changed the way we think about fragrance and how we wear fragrance today. Yeah, but actually paying tribute to such a beautiful era, um, first of all, you can imagine that back in time there was no synthetic molecules, mm. but natural essence. Okay, today the perfume industry is at 99% all about synthetic. Mm -hmm. Nothing bad with synthetic. Uh, it's just a different way of creating perfume. We do use some synthetic as well. But uh, when, during the 18th century, it was only natural essence. That's true that today, brands using a large majority of natural uh, ingredients, you can count them on one hand. Mm. Um, saying that doesn't mean that uh, we are better or we are worse because we use natural essence. You know, you have some beautiful synthetic creation, you have some awesome uh, natural creation. I think what's important is, uh, uh, for Julien, is to, to, to respect the, the French know-how when you, it comes to create perfume. And of course, for example, we'll use only uh, Madagascar vanilla, natural, we'll never use vanilline. So we won't replace natural essence that exists in the nature by any synthetic. Wow. But some synthetic molecules will open new possibilities, new sense that does not exist in the nature. I'll give you an example. In Delina, the lychee is a synthetic because yes. you cannot get the smell out of a lychee. So uh, the synthetic molecules open up like 2,000 new scents that you, we can play with now that are not available in the nature. But 
in our creation, you will always have the flowers, uh, uh, the wood, the vanilla, the wood, we, will always be natural. So we don't have a majority of natural essence with a touch of modernity because you have some amazing synthetic molecules as well that helps the creation to project more, to last longer, to and as well to protect our uh, creation, we'll use what we call captive ingredients. Captives, Which yes. are uh, molecules that are uh, exclusive for perfumes the Mali that uh, we secure only for us. And that so does not exist for anyone. So anybody who wants to copy and and do a chromatology of the perfume will have some holes that they cannot access to and they won't be able to copy exactly our creation. Wow. And so, but voila. So it's a, it's a balance between how to, to create uh, in the pure uh, haute perfumery way in a modern way. Mm -hmm. with a touch of modernity and the perfect uh, fine-tuning and balance. And that's why it takes so long for Julia to create a, a new perfume. It's because it's all about uh, balance, balance and being exactly, you know, perfect balance between the opening, the bridge with the heart notes and the, and the strength of the, of the bass note that cannot be overly strong, otherwise you won't smell anymore the opening. Is, so it's, it's all about the fine-tuning. It's extremely complex, and uh, and uh, that that's really the the print that the 18th century and paying homage to this period is to use the best natural essence, and of course to have the perfect bridge to make our creation modern and uh, attractive. And um, you know the main difference. What is important to understand is it's a challenge to work naturally. Sense is a challenge because they are, uh, uh, you know, uh, synthetic molecules uh, doesn't move. It's like smells the same. You no can matter dip what. it one year, it doesn't move. It's like that's what you get is what you have. But when you use natural essence, they evolve. The maceration keep going in the bottle, and it's kind. Of, you you can imagine it as kind of alive. And uh, so it's not as stable as a, a synthetic. As a synthetic, yes. But the beauty of it is the more natural it is, the more it will smell different on every skin. Because the pH of your skin will become part of the creation and you will make it your own. And sometimes you might have a disappointment. You like it on the blotter and you try on your skin and your pH twist it in a way you, you don't like it. That's fine. Because I'm sure you will find two, three, right. or four that you will love on your skin. And the beauty of it, and then it becomes your own olfactive uh, signature. Wow. When the more it's in the opposition, the more synthetic it, it will be, the more it will smell the same on every skin. I love this. Wow. It makes the scent your own, yeah. like you said. So you have some magic going on when you use uh, natural that uh, even though it's a challenge uh, uh, for sourcing, for it's as well a challenge to, to guarantee the exact smell for every batch of production, which we do because we work with amazing partners that can guarantee us the exact same quality. But it's much more challenging to work natural essence than to work synthetic, but that's a passion. That's the passion yeah, and passion. that's also the tribute, right? Yeah. But again... No judgment doesn't mean we are better, doesn't mean it's better to work natural. No, it's just a different way of creating perfume. And what matters is that people fall in love with one or few of our creation <laughs> or, and have and find this emotional connection. And then that's what matters. Absolutely. Yeah. I think to your point, it's it's part of your DNA, part of the Perfumes de Marley DNA. And that's also that as you're expressing that bridge between that 18th century France and today is the usage of those things that can be found in nature. That's another way to kind of build that bridge. Yeah. Um, that's wonderful. So the iconic Delina, our princess, this is a incredible creation in a way that we never experience such a such a success and more importantly the way people react when they discover Delina. We launched it first in exclusivity in London in Selfridges. Wow. And we did the two weeks target we had in one day and people screaming and <laughs> a woman saying, Oh it's so beautiful and and 
that's you know this creation put a smile on your face mm. is you have this beautiful lychee with a rhubarb that give a, a green side to it and a bubbly side with a beautiful roses and musk and a touch of vanilla from madagascar this is just makes you happy. It's a huge compliment getter, lasts all day long, beautiful sillage. So every customer sends me the same. People stop you in the street and say, oh, please tell me what's your fragrance. It's so good. So yeah, the Delina is magical. And what I love in uh, in her is, is really the smile she put on your face. It's, it's, a, it's pure joy. Pure joy. I absolutely adore the scent. And it's one of those fragrances that smells good on everyone. Like everyone. It just smells so good on... Mm. So, so good on the skin. Oh, love it. All right. What so do we have next? Next one is, I call her the troublemaker. I'm sorry. <laughs> but oh, this I like her. is Delina exclusive. This is just about seduction. So if you don't want to be stopped, if you don't want to be uh, to feel too much attractive, get <laughs> rid. Don't go for Delina exclusive. This is fabulous. To me, that's my favorite. I'm addicted to it. Sometimes at, at work, I will uh, I will spray on my hand just just to smell it, just to feel good, and work on my computer. So this is a she's a queen. She's a, it's a perfume extract. Mm. So uh, the difference with the Delina original, with sparkling and joyful, this is more about vanilla from Madagascar. It's more bold. It's almost powdery, but it's just all about seduction. This is. Oh, that heaven. is a troublemaker. This is a troublemaker. It's fabulous. I'm, you just want to hug. You want it to cuddle. It's so beautiful, so deep, so rich. Mm. But you're right. I can still smell the joy in it too. Oh, yes, yes. So you have this beautiful combination and duality that Julian Sprecher always like to to create. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is a piece of art. Seriously, is yeah. Gorgeous. Ugh. And the next one we're going to smell is Delina La Rose, right? So Delina La Rose is a. She's a baby. She's the latest creation in the Delina vibes. And this is more watery. This is bright. This is pure tailoring, you know. Mm -hmm. This is a kind of fragrance you can literally smell each and every ingredient. Mm -hmm. It's like hand handcrafted, very, very subtle, but yet with a, an amazing persistence that, that will last as long as the Delina original, mm -hmm. but project in a more subtle way. And uh, it's just divine. It's beautiful for summer. So now is the right season to 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 wear Delina Rosé. And uh, it's one of my favorite because, believe it or not, that's the most complicated kind of fragrance to create. Oh. Because freshness and subtlety doesn't, is not normally powerful or doesn't last. And to achieve this kind of performance with such a subtle scent, is incredible and this is truly a piece of heart and so delicate and beautiful. Gorgeous. So let's move on. I know all of your scents are easily wearable for, for anyone, right? Um, but we also have with us some of the more masculine leaning mm -hmm. fragrances. Um, could we start with Pegasus? So speaking about masculine, yes, this is more unisex creation. So they have masculine vibes, some of them, but you know, you have more and more women who wants to 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 wear different kind of perfume now, go, go out of these floral vibes and yes. so on. And Pegasus is actually extremely sensual on women. This is a, this is a creation, a work around almond and vanilla from Madagascar, it's really stand out. Doesn't smell like anything you smelled before. It's a kind of fragrance that people ask you, wow, what's going on? What are you rocking today? Wow. Mm -hmm. It has this wow effect. And when you like to stand out, this is incredible. That's what I love to wear when I'm a journalist or when I really want to, yeah. to have a presence and uh, give me confidence. And this is awesome. And this is so sensual for men and women as well. Mm, I can definitely see wearing this myself. Mm. Maybe for a real important meeting yeah. or to buy a house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a New Yorker, so yeah. maybe in the future. Yes. <laughs> mm, stunning. 
The next fragrance I'd love to smell is Haltane. Haltane, true peace of heart. I'm literally, uh, I am addicted to Haltane. You have everything you can dream out of a fragrance. First, very appealing, very uplifting, natural bergamot, uh, lavender, very bright, very, really very appealing and fresh. And then you have this beautiful bridge in the heart knot with soft leather combined with praline that warm it up, start to give sensuality to it. And then going down to precious woods and touch of natural wood that gives this olfactive signature that here I am, I stand out, but at the same time, I, I'm attractive and I'm, I have energy, I'm bright, so it has really every component you can dream out of a fragrance. Beautiful and woman as well, completely unisex. But it has mm. this character into it. It's it's absolutely beautiful. When we speak about fine tuning and having the perfect balance, this is it. This is it. This is a masterpiece. Mm. It feels so grounded. It like centers me when I smell this. It's mm. so wonderful. Yeah, and it keeps mm. warming up during the day, and you have over twelve hours evolving on you and becoming more and more sensual hours after hours and it, it's such a beautiful recreation. This is a hug for me. Like oh, yeah. I want to hug yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> the warmth in it. Wonderful. So let's smell Leighton. Ooh. The other troublemaker, Leighton. Ooh. I like Leighton. trouble. Leighton <laughs> is a king of night. If I listen to my customers, they love clubbing, going out in date with Leighton. Yes. The beauty of it is really the duality between the freshness, the sex appeal in the opening, and the depthness and the sensuality and the seduction power you have. So it's going down to precious woods, melting with vanilla from Madagascar, giving this warm caramelized effect with the brightness of the opening. This is incredible. Last over twelve hours, it's he's really the king of the of the casa. Mm. Very versatile, but rich and deep at the same time. It's fun. This it's fragrance fun. is just it's fun. Yeah, just go and then salsa. Authentic, and, and, <laughs> someone who yeah just loves to like so, go out and is truly so, themselves. So so seductive. I stop wearing it when I go out. It's troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> too many compliments. You hear that? Ivan says, no. wear this if you want too many compliments. No, it's incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's a beauty, beautiful creation. Gorgeous. I can feel this fragrance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, you know, in my mind, it, it was more masculine. And uh, lately, uh, I, I encounter with a woman wearing a Leighton. I didn't even recognize it because mm -hmm. to me it was masculine. And I said, it was awesome on her. She was so sexy. And I said, what do you wear? It's amazing. And it was late on. So really don't hesitate to try different kind of fragrances. You might be amazed. Yes. Yeah. This smells like a celebrity. Oh, it's mad incredible. <laughs> yeah. Luxurious. And I would love to also smell Percival with you. Percival? That's the one. Personally, I'm wearing the most often. Wow. That's my, this is a must to get in your collection. You know, this kind of fragrance that you can wear and please everybody surrounding you mm. in any occasion. A crowd pleaser. So you can imagine I'm traveling a lot. Some people tell me too much, <laughs> traveling a lot. So I can't wear something too sophisticated in the plane or in this. So I, have, I often wear Percival and this is just compliment getter everywhere I go. People say, oh, you smell so good. And keep going and you please everyone around you. That gives a smile to everybody. And you can wear again in every day, winter, summer. That's a easy fragrance to wear, but always does a job everywhere, whatever you do. And uh, it, it has some uh, very versatile, but you have there more than 16 natural ingredients. So it really have been created in the pure tradition of the haute perfumery. Wow. This is 
this is bright, this is uh, mm. just incredi incredibly delicious. You have a bergamot, you have mandarin, lavender, geranium, spices, woody, tonka bean. It's, it's much more complex than what you can imagine. And the projection, the sillage is out of this world. So it's really a massive, massive compliment getter. I and love a, this. like Delina, you know, kind of fragrance that put a smile on your face. It's uh, wonderful. Yeah, beautiful. I'm getting a scent memory. This smells like someone I know. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> or like yeah, yeah. you know, there's something in this that feels familiar and I love the and joyful. I love the lavender in there. Maybe it's the lavender. Mm. Yes. It's beautiful. Mm, wondrous. And I know all of these fragrances we're featuring today are available on Scentbird, <laughs> so. If anyone wants to try them, they're yeah, available same. in multiple sizes. Sandbird is so amazing for that, that just try what you want to cultivate, wear them. It's important before to acquire the full bottle to wear them, to experience yes. them. And uh, that's, that's a, an amazing opportunity to do that. And just try, experience a few days wearing them and see how it grows on you and how you feel when you wear them and how people react. And so that's a, that's the best alternative you have here. As soon as I saw them on the platform, I just got all of them and I, I have no type. All of them are wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ivan, I'd love to talk about your latest creation, Valaya. Julian's inspiration and vision was how to, to create the ultimate sensuality, mm. that it has to be smooth and, and bright and sensual, but in a perfume the Mali way, so in a bright way with a massive sillage and you need to get noticed as well, but in, in a very subtle way. And this is what uh, he has achieved, which is really outstanding. Uh, this is a huge compliment getter. It's bright, you have this white peach, you have the, the, the floral, the musk, it's very musky and sensual. And uh, what is incredible is the projection and the sillage. And uh, so you are uh, very, very sensual and almost discreet, but people get, everybody get <laughs> noticed you and say, oh, wow, what's going on here? So that's beautiful, very Gorgeous. beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah. They all suit a different personality. Yeah. Gorgeous. Thank you so much Thank for smelling you. through these with Thank me. You. It's an honor. <laughs> no, it was mine. Thank you so much. Are you ready to play Scent Connection? I'd love that. Yeah, always ready to play. Let's do it. Okay, so King Louis XIV's perfume court is long gone. But have you, as you've mentioned before, there is kind of this new... Uh, class of courtesans, right? Who might've mm -hmm. been in, in the presence of, of royalty and we have royalty today. So I was wondering if I could mention some famous people who would be in the perfumed court today. Okay. And you can tell me what fragrance from Perfumes de Marley you think they would wear. Okay. Yeah. How's that Let's sound? Try. That sounds great. <laughs> All right. Let's start with some true American royalty, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Beyonce and Jay-Z. Ah, so it's all like Beyonce's energy. She's she's bright. She has a lot of energy. She's beautiful. She's sensual. So I, I, I would go with for Beyonce with Delina Exclusive because yes. Delina Exclusive has this this brightness, this pop, the lychee, the rose. It's magnificent and it has as well this amazing sensual power into it. So it's a it's a mix between uh, energy and sensuality and seduction. So I would think about uh, uh, Delina Exclusive and then I would pair it for Jay Z with Layton. 
Leighton. Leighton being as well a bright and versatile and very appealing, but with a lot of depth into it. You have this duality between the fresh bagamot, the lavender, the green apple, and going down with precious woods melted with vanilla, giving a lot of sex appeal as well. So, and yeah. the, it, it's a perfect match be, uh, for for both of them. This is something is very interesting: is to match scent as well when you are a couple, because mm. every scent doesn't go well together and actually Delina exclusive and Leighton together they are absolutely uh, a perfect amazing. match perfect match absolutely <laughs> that's so cool I feel like when you describe mm. the fragrances I can smell them mm -hmm. like in my mind <laughs> wonderful okay let's go into some football royalty okay David Beckham um, and Posh Spice Victoria Beckham okay uh, David Beckham uh, very handsome, great energy, very calm as well. Like I would say the tranquil uh, force mm. in, he has in it. So we say something uh, where he will uh, stand out, but in a smooth way. So I will think about Pegasus. Yes. With the almond vibes and vanilla and uh, in a bright way as well. And uh, yeah, Pegasus for David Beckham would be awesome. And uh, for Victoria, I would think the original Delina, that uh, happy smile, uh, that uh, pop uh, and uh, very happy creation and very elegant, beautiful compliment getter. So yeah. Iconic. Pegasus and Delina. I love that. Yeah. Next one is Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. Rihanna, I do know she likes uh, Delina exclusive, uh, but uh, let's let's think uh, wh what other creation could I believe could fit. Uh, uh, I think Cassili would be an amazing one for Ooh. her. So the Cassili is a work around the. Um, so it's a fruity floral, uh, and uh, it has this. Uh, it pops as well, and it's v at the same time very flirty. Oh. And uh, this could be a, a, a nice one for for Rihanna as well. Yeah, on top of Delina exclusive, that of course is uh, is amazing for her. And uh, and then I would associate Percival. Percival. Percival with. Uh, uh, for me, Percival is a must to get. It's the ultimate fragrance in a way that you can wear it every day of the year, any occasion for date, for work, for it's a crowd pleaser, it's energize yourself. It really works in any occasion. And it, it, it has this uh, positive energy into it and uh, very versatile, very attractive. So it's really have. It's it's a go it's a go to wood, how do you say yeah go, go, go to, to scent day, go to scent yeah, yeah absolutely yeah wonderful yeah. ASAP gets Percival do you hear that ASAP if you're listening <laughs> thank you how about Elton John and his partner David Furnish all right so Elton John legendary Elton John yes the icon uh, iconic so you know what I say the energy the the beauty great heart as well and emotion. So uh, I will do something I never do is I will associate two of our creation for him. Yeah, you'll and blend I will, them. I will blend them and I will use Percival and Delina original. So Ooh. the Percival for the energy, for the pop, for the brightness and had some uh, in the heart, some Delina as a power of seduction and make it flirty. And it's actually a combo that I wear myself sometimes that I love to wear it's beautiful and uh, bring a lot of sexiness to to Percival and uh, that would be amazing for uh, for Elton I believe so cool and uh, for his partner I would do something uh, I think I'll go again to Pegasus which is what I love in Pegasus is is uh, it, it's bright and it stands out and it's seduction power. So it has this combination that that is awesome. And that's why Pegasus is still so successful today and uh, used by men and women, actually. It has no gender, this Pegasus is beautiful, so sexy on a woman. And uh, yeah, that would be a great uh, ah, association. That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. Thank you so much for Thank playing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Those were perfect answers. <laughs> 
All right, Yvonne, I wanted to ask you, you smell fantastic. What are you wearing today? Oh, that's a, a secret bullet. It uh, actually does not exist yet. It's uh, Julien's Precher next creation that we launch in October. So it's a, it would be a unisex, uh, in the unisex uh, bottle, a large bottle. And it's a beautiful, fresh, gourmand. So it's really we're going back to the perfumes of Mali roots. And uh, yeah, it's extremely sensual. Wow. And in a bright way. And uh, since, so I love to wear them ahead of time, see how people react and so on. And I get tons of compliments all the time and love to wear it, really enjoy it. Yeah, so. What part of your personality do you think it brings out? That's the thing is it's, uh, of course, a seduction part with a, you have some uh, vanilla from Madagascar. It's a, it's a, it has a gourmand side of it, but it's as well bright. So it's really something you can even w wear at, at work. And uh, it's a combination between uh, uh, standing out and, uh, and, uh, and have something fresh and uh, attractive with a lot of depth into it and seduction power too, I believe. So Wonderful. Uh, Julien Spreche always like to have a, uh, to visit different uh, vibes in a, in one creation and have some duality into it. And this one is outstanding. Yeah, I can't wait to launch it actually. It smells so good. I can yeah. smell it. I could smell it when you walked by. <laughs> it's so intoxicating and alluring. I think that might be my new favorite once Thank it launches. You. Thank you. <laughs> new, new favorite. <laughs> yes, new favorite. Coming soon, everyone. Fragrance coming soon. Yeah. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you've talked about it somewhere else, but I'm going to pretend like... I did not. <laughs> I did it's not. an exclusive. It's an exclusive. <laughs> yeah, October 1st. <laughs> I'm honored to smell it. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing that with me. <laughs> so, Yvonne, the Perfumes du Marley brand is all about making that connection to the past. So when you think about your journey, is there a memory that comes to mind that has shaped you in your journey? Yes, of course. Well, I, I, I always... Uh, since my childhood, I had a strong interaction with smells, but uh, it's really Julien's pressure make me, me me fall in this world and uh, uh, allow me to enhance uh, my capacity and educate my nose and on daily basis, smelling so many perfumes with him. And uh, it's really become a passion. But before working uh, with uh, Perfumes of Mali 12 years ago, I was... Uh, working in the retail industry as a general manager and uh, uh, selling perfume in some of my department stores, actually. But I cannot say I was a, a perfume addict already. But I remember that in my childhood, my, my first memory towards perfume is in my grandparents' yard in Brittany. Uh, there were uh, lavenders. Wow. And every day when I was going out, from the house to play tennis, to go to the beach, whatever. I was taking the flowers in my hand and crushing them just to smell lavender. And today, I, I still love today lavender. And my first uh, perfume was uh, uh, when I was teenager was uh, uh, Pour un homme de Caron with a vanilla lavender creation. So it's funny how it sticks to you. When you have good memories of a smell, it sticks to you all the life, all your life, and uh, it's uh, it's it's funny, it's beautiful, yeah. And, uh, but uh, it's really since I have the chance to work uh, closely with uh, Julien Sprecher and the Mali team that really dive into this world and understand the power of perfume and understand uh, so many things that I didn't know before. I felt them. Mm -hmm. But I could not measure them and understand them, and which I do much better, hopefully now after twelve years. But uh, yeah, that's. So it started in Brittany with your yeah. earliest scent oh, memory yeah. of yeah. that lavender. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, um, it came back around for oh, you. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, that's that's where the power of scent is. Is it follows you? It's change your life. It's it uh, helps you as well to understand emotions and uh, feelings. And uh, so it should be uh, re refound by uh, social security, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's good for you, for the health, for your feeling, for, yeah. 
something very important. Yes, the power of scent. The power of scent, the power of the invisible. Thank you so much for joining us today, Thank Ivan. You. Thank you, Whitney. Thank you so much. Thank you.